guys. So I am uh, working on some choice-based quests with uh, NPCs, and these are activities to kind of spawn multiple NPCs. So as you can see, I have some NPCs above me on a circle, standing on some glass blocks. And the idea is that when I talk to this NPC, I can choose my destiny and uh, I'm going to do a uh, fill command um, uh, uh, seven blocks above me and replace it with air. So when I toggle world builder on, I'm going to click and <laughs> I'm inundated with NPCs. So each of these NPCs uh, could equal a choice. So uh, just you know, make sure that you, you count up how many blocks. So if I just wanted to uh, repeat this command, know that I'm going to do a fill seven blocks above. So I could just simply do a fill from, you know, maybe five blocks below my X, seven blocks above and uh, five blocks to say, plus five, still keeping it at seven to keep it flat, and then plus five, and I'm gonna fill it with air. And I can simply put the zero in replace. Oh, I did it with air. I didn't mean to do it with air. I wanted to do it with uh, glass. So when I do that, I have my glass blocks. And then I can simply just uh, put my NPCs back up there and have them form around me. And I'm inundated with uh, choices. And this is especially useful in an immutable world. So I, I, I can just, again, lay these NPCs up. And what's rather interesting is how this, uh, let's get a little dark. How this came about was I was originally working over here trying to build an activity with sand where um, the NPCs uh, come down in the sand cascades down utilizing uh, sticky pistons and, and redstone and the idea behind this was when I talk to this NPC he says choose your fate and he's gonna set two redstone blocks, one at each um, corner to activate the redstone and therefore activating the sticky pistons. Uh, and I knew I was gonna have some difficulty with this, so I actually uh, calculated out the coordinates and then created this command block to clone this little activity over here um, from these coordinates and then replace them about 20 blocks away. Um, and that spawned this activity over here. Now, um, what was interesting was when I cloned it, many of these NPCs actually spawned in the wall. And it looks like they've actually, uh, some of them have come out of the wall, which is pretty interesting. Some of them are still in there. I don't know how they were, uh, able to get out of there. But by talking to this NPC, he's going to set the redstone blocks. And then um, I wanted the, the sticky pistons to deactivate. So using a repeater with a couple ticks on it, I then remove the redstone blocks for a slight delay. So you'll you'll kind of see what happens here is when I talk to this NPC, the uh, NPCs come out of the blocks. Now, if, if we get rid of this sand and we to the sand we'll, we'll uh, put our NPCs back for right now cool. one there 
Now when I use this clone command with those NPCs right there, as you see, they get put back into the wall. So I found this really interesting that if I have this little area here with my NPCs in the wall, and, and you see they're, they're, they're fully encased, and if I toggle World Builder off, I, I, I can't talk to them. And I'm actually going to do one more thing, and that's I'm going to make it an immutable world, and I'm going to make that true. And for those of you who don't know what an immutable world is, I, I can't place or break blocks. So I, I, there, I have no way of accessing these NPCs inside the wall until I talk to this guy. Now all of a sudden I have all these NPCs to talk to. So um, a pretty simple build. I just laid some sticky pistons up with some sand blocks, uh, ran some redstone behind it. And then I took a repeater. This is three ticks. You can do however many ticks. And I just have the set block to um, replace the uh, redstone block with the air. So I did have to write down my coordinates and calculate the coordinates right uh, here so that it was uh, three blocks away. And then I just, it, this happens to be on the Z axis. So I, these are different ways that you can have multiple choices spawning out of your NPCs. Um, now, if I, if I want to uh, reset this, uh, I, yeah, I have to turn it on. And I'm able to break stuff because I am a world builder. And I can just go over here and uh, push the button and my NPCs are back in the wall and uh, once again should have um, mutable world on all right I hope you enjoyed it um, cheers <laughs>